Hello, this is Nathan Fullerton. Today we're going to be talking about setting up your Mac to use Final Cut's keyboard shortcuts. So if you're asking this question, you've probably progressed to the point where you've discovered that dragging and dropping and even using the little button shortcuts over there in the canvas are the slow way of getting footage onto the timeline in Final Cut and you're interested in speeding up your edits, becoming one of those people whose fingers fly across the keyboards at lightning speed and uh, you look like an absolute miracle worker to the client sitting over your shoulder. The keyboard shortcuts for Insert Edit, Overwrite Edit, and Replace Edit are F9, F10, and F11. And you may have already noticed that unless you make some changes to your system preferences, those keyboard shortcuts don't work right off the bat. Uh, on laptops, they control the uh, volume control and a goofy fast forward function that I don't think I've ever used. And even on the full-size keyboards, uh, they bring up functions like Expose, uh, showing you all the windows and showing you application windows and stuff like that. So we need to turn both of those functions off in order to pass the keyboard presses of those function keys onto Final Cut. To make that happen, we go up to the Apple menu and go to System Preferences. We're going to be making changes to two different system preferences. Uh, the first is the expose slash spaces system preference, which is up there in the top row. And the second one is the keyboard system preference, which is in the second row. So let's go to expose and spaces first. Now inside here, we're interested in remapping the expose keyboard shortcuts. So we need to make sure that the expose panel is exposed. So we'll click on expose. And then down here in the middle, uh, where we've got all windows, application windows, and show desktop. That's what those F9, F10, and F11 keys are mapped to by default. So we need to turn those off in order to let the system give those keyboard presses to Final Cut. So we click on F9 there, for instance, and in the pop-up menu that appears, select the hyphen down at the bottom. That basically says no keyboard shortcut for this function. So we're just turning it off, essentially. We could remap these to other keys, but I'm not going to get into that in this tutorial. We, for now, we just want to turn them off and let Final Cut work. Okay, so I've set all three of those to the hyphen. So now that I've done that, now I can go back up here to the Show All button. And this next one is a little bit dependent on the type of keyboard that you've got. Uh, the newer keyboards all have these fancy keys like volume control and brightness control and things like that up where their function keys are. The, if you have an older keyboard, you don't have to worry about this. But on the newer keyboards, especially laptops, you will have to go into the keyboard system preference. And right here in the middle of the keyboard system preference is this option for use all F1, F2, etc. keys as standard function keys. Now this is what we want to do. Uh, we want these keys to be treated as normal function keys, which is what Final Cut expects. Uh, as long as these aren't normal function keys, the system is intercepting them before they get to Final Cut. So we just need to turn all this fancy stuff off and make them back into regular function keys. And you just do that by putting a check mark in the box. It does give us a little uh, informative bit of fine print here where it says that when this option is selected, press the FN key to use the special features printed on each key. The FN key is down in the lower left hand corner of the laptop keyboards. The FN key basically reactivates all those special functions that are printed on those F keys. Uh, on the bigger keyboards, the FN key is located uh, over to the right, up kind of towards the top. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure that's checked. And once those things are checked, let me close this. So now, rather than drag and dropping, which is kind of slow, or even using these little uh, shortcut buttons over here in the canvas, which, while speedier, are still a little bit small to hit, now all I have to do is mark my ins and outs in the viewer, and then hit F9, and voila, the clip goes down onto the timeline. I can go open up another clip, and I've got some in and outs set on this already, F9, and it's down on the timeline. It's really fast. Keyboard shortcuts are your friend when editing. It makes you look like a miracle worker to your clients when your fingers just fly across the keyboard with lightning speed. So, once again, I am Nathan Fullerton. If you have any additional questions or would like to see additional tutorials, please feel free to leave comments down in the comments section below. Happy final cutting!